the Intel Science Talent Search means a chance to come and hang out with some of the, the smartest people I've ever met. For me, Intel SDS means possibility. We can make a difference. It's a chance you get to find out what other people my age are really interested in. It's a really great experience. It's allowed me to meet with these really fantastic scientists. It is a science competition, but the people here, they're willing to help. It's just great. What I see here is the visions of 40 young scientists. Not only for the betterment of themselves, but for the people around them. We're here to, you know, show off our scientific knowledge. Since I've gotten here, I've I've learned. Being an Intel Science Talent Search finalist has helped me to find people who share the same passions as I do. It's been an absolutely amazing experience from the minute I got here. For me, the Intel Science Talent Search means a community. I definitely felt that it was one of the um, first communities that I could really connect with. I've spent a large portion of my high school career and beyond on science. We've been treated kind of like rock stars. People don't look at us like we're really nerdy because we're all nerdy in the same way. And the Intel Science Talent Search, it just fosters that cooperative atmosphere. And I can't wait to see how this small one week here in Washington, D.C. is going to completely transform my life. Every year, and this year is no different, we hear from the finalists how important this week is to them. They find students that are as inspired as they are, that are as dedicated to their research as they are, and that are as excited about innovation and what sort of impact they can have on the future challenges that face our world. The day I found out I was a finalist, I was screaming and because <laughs> I never thought I would make it this far. I said, you know why I'm calling up with Intel SDS? So I, I said, I'll let you tell me. I thought that I heard what she said, but I was like, can you say that again? I actually had no idea, but my mom already knew. I just remember the first thing I did was like just dance around for like a full minute or so before I reacted. It was really surreal and at the same time, really exciting. These 40 finalists are among the smartest and most talented young scientists in the United States today. But more than that, this competition really looks for the future science leaders. They're going to be developing the future technologies and the future solutions that will really change the world. I used to think a lot that science and math are pretty concrete, and through research especially, I've learned that it's anything but that. Science and math open doors because part of STEM is to give people the tools they need in order to do great things. It doesn't matter where you came from or who you are, it just matters what you know and what you want to discover. It has given me the skills I need to do critical problem solving. With science and math, I'm able to become a part of a sort of scientific frontier. Science and math has uh, really allowed me to think about problems in different ways and approach them from multiple angles. Science has allowed me to explore my curiosity. I see science and math as a form of empowerment. I'm just a high school student here. I've really been able to show the world what I'm capable of. One of the biggest things that both science and math have taught me is to not fear failure and to also to really think critically. By encouraging students to get involved in science really early in high school. It really helps to be able to address the problems that we face as a global society today. We're all members of this huge ecosystem, this huge organization. All seven billion of us have a responsibility to each other. Because you're not gonna be here forever, but society will. For me, science, it doesn't really end when I leave the lab or when I leave my school. It's like coloring every single thing that I do. Yes, I do want to commit myself to making the world a better place. And yes, I know these other people who want to do the same thing. Because that's what the entire Intel process is about, evaluating your holistic scientific potential. And it really provides me with a lot of hope for the future, just to see all these very intelligent, very passionate people working on really interesting problems. And I just I can't wait to see what we'll do in the future. The first place winner of the 2014 Intel Science Talent Search and the recipient of a $100,000 award, Eric S. Chen, Canyon Crest Academy, San Diego, California. 
I'm so, I, I don't even know what I'm feeling anymore. I'm just, I really had no idea that I would get this honor and I, I'm very, very happy. The mysteries of science, there's always something to discover. It gets me up each morning with a smile on my face and eager and excited to see what might happen that day. I, I think that researchers just really appreciate working with everybody you can work with and, and you know, there's so much you can learn from, from all your mentors and, and stuff. It's, it's really moving.